Taking your TLC plate, carefully rule out the dimensions of the plate. The baseline should be 2 cm from the bottom of the plate and the developing distance should be 10 cm from the bottom of the baseline. These are the standard distances according to the British Pharmacopoeia. Draw a line across the top of the plate. Using a pencil, etch into the silica and remove a small layer of silica across the top of the plate. Carefully mark out the different bands on the baseline, making sure there's enough distance between them and that the spots don't overlap. Make sure to always write on the top of your plate. The information on the top of the plate should always correspond to the spots below. Don't forget to put your name and also your bench number on the top of the plate. Using a spotter, place a spotter inside your sample and make sure the liquid goes all the way up the tube up until the mark. Spot a band on your TLC plate. Carefully slide the spotter across the desired distance making sure all the liquid exits the tube. Use a clean spotter for each new sample. You can control the amount of liquid going into the spotter by using your index finger and placing it over the hole on the top of the spotter. By releasing the index finger, this will allow the liquid to exit the spotter. Make sure the sample volume is consistent every time as you want the same concentration of sample on each spot. Once you've spotted all the different spots on your TLC plate, you can then place your plate inside the TLC tank. Carefully remove the lid of the TLC tank and then add in your mobile face. Add your TLC plate inside the TLC tank. Once you place the lid on top of the tank, it is important to note not to open the tank until the plate is fully developed. Depending on the solvent system, it could take 30 minutes to an hour for the plate to fully develop. Once the plate has developed, carefully remove the TLC plate from the tank and allow it to air dry. Once dry, spray the plate with the visualising reagent, making sure that the entire plate is covered. Then place the TLC plate in the oven for 5-10 to 10 minutes. Once out of the oven, you'll be able to visualise some of the bands on your TLC plate. Some of the bands, however, you will not be able to see unless it's under UV light. When visualising the plate in the UV chamber, Make sure you use a pencil and circle the bands as the bands will not be visible in normal light. You can use the camera in the lab to photograph the plate under UV light inside the UV chamber. Make sure you record all the different RF values. Thanks again for watching.